Today we're going to be talking about all the different places in the world where they've been studying two, three generation, where they've been doing scientific studies on how to grow new teeth. And as you guys can see, we got Canada, even United States at Harvard. We've got United Kingdom, Germany, China, it's hard to see here, we got Japan. We all know about Japan with their drug. And even Brazil, guys. We haven't we didn't even know what Brazil was doing, if you've been watching the channel. Alrighty. And quick introduction. I'm Roxanne. I'm originally from South Africa. I got a little funky twang. And I started growing a new tooth like five years ago, so it got me into the subject. I also have a bachelor's in journalism. So I am fascinated by research and we're gonna get down to the bottom of the subject. And a big thing I want to talk to you guys about, uh, maybe let's just get right to the main subject. All right, so we got Canada. We've been talking a lot about Canada. Dr. Tarek Ibiali, he's doing the ultrasound. All right, and uh, this is some stuff that was happening before. To oh, let's go back to this map. Hold on, guys. I got all this research, y'all. Oh, Sweden. What's Sweden doing? Sweden, Nordic countries, tissue engineering, craniofacial regeneration studies, 1990s. Sweden and Finland has already been talking about this stuff since the 90s, guys. So I just want to show you how long they've been doing it. Okay, so here's a nice little chart that I got made. All right, so here we got 2002. This is, uh, what's the date, guys? 2025, so we're talking what, 23 years since they were growing teeth in Canada? Like legitimately with ultrasound were growing teeth. So then by 2005, we got uh, United States in there, stem cell. 2007, they already started in Japan. Um, even though the drug is just now getting studied, they've already been studying it. 2010, we got United Kingdom with the stem cell research. Uh, China from 2012 is doing a bioengineering focus. Germany, 2014, we got tissue engineering advances. And then Brazil, 2018, regenerative trials. So guys, this is all science. This is all stuff that's been happening. All right. And now let's go through. Let's really talk real quick here. By the way, uh, it's actually only 3% of people, 1 to 3% of people who grow extra teeth. That's called super numerary. So I had said 5% before, but it's actually less. All right, so let's talk a little bit. Uh, we got Canada here, like I was saying with the Lipus uh, ultrasound device. We talk a lot about that on this channel. So if you need more information about the Lipus, uh, check through the videos. We have um, Harvard doing some of stem cells, bioengineered scaffolds. I've been hearing about the scaffolds a lot. We talk a lot about Japan and Tokyo and how they're doing the the drug. It's like an injection, and they're actually they're actually experimenting on people. Um, that's to do with the genetics, and they're taking away a certain gene. Also, United Kingdom at King's College, been hearing about this a lot lately. London developed key discoveries in dental stem cell bio biology. China has done extensive uh, research on stem cells, tissue engineering. Germany, engineering for enamel and dentin replacement. And then we got Brazil here, clinical trials exploring regenerative dentistry applications. So, uh, all over the world, guys, they've been looking at this for a long time. All right, so let's get to the best part here. This is an example of a mouth and all the different teeth. Guys, this is from my book, so you're getting a little uh, glimpse here into me putting a whole book together. But I want this research to be real serious. So we can go uh, into each one. Uh, so we got ultrasound is one way to grow new teeth. We got the drug-based, 2-3 growth, Japan. 
All right, guys, this one we haven't talked a lot about, but basically it's this pig tooth thing where they take a tooth and they, like, grow it in a pig and then they re-put it back into the human. So this is next level stuff, guys. Right, so this is something I do want to dive a little deeper into, this pig tooth thing. Stem cells, China, so this is another way. The pulp. This also has to do with the thing in Japan. Uh, tissue engineering with scaffolds. So they're in a lab stage now. Uh, the scaffold dissolves over time, leaving behind a living tooth structure. Biodegradable scaffolds shaped like a tooth are implanted with stem cells and growth factors. Very cool. All right, we got quantum frequency base. This is speculative. This is more my stuff. All right, so let's get into this real quick, guys. Um, all right, let's compare all the different methods. We got eight methods here, okay? So first of all, we got the ultrasound. All right, so how it works is the low intensity pulsed ultrasound stimulates dental stem cells and root repair. All right, so what's the status? Animal early human studies on growing refinement. So they stopped doing that for some reason. And our guy, Biali, he's like working on this other product that probably grows teeth because it's lipus. Uh, it's non-invasive, low risk, cost effective. And then the limitations right now is um, limited to repair. Full tooth regrowth, not yet routine. Okay, so I guess it's like if you already have a tooth but okay let me how do I get this bigger Oop. okay anyways we got the drug therapy in Japan using US AG1 inhibitor drug uh, reactivates natural tooth growth pathways and they've had animal success mice and ferrets Human trials are now happening. It says upcoming, but they're happening now. Since 2024. And that's a lot of my channel. Triggers new... The strengths triggers new real tooth growth. Drug delivery is easy. Needs human safety validation early stage. Alright, so that's the second way to grow teeth. Dude, we need numbers on here. We got the pig tooth scaffold in UK. So it says the pig tooth material used as scaffold with human cells. Okay, we just talked about this. So you guys kind of understand it. Very lab stage experimental. Provides scaffold in tooth formation. Immune rejection risk ethical issues. Yeah, this pig thing, guys. Taking a tooth, growing it in a pig, and then... That's just weird, dude. Come on, guys. But pretty cool. Stem cell therapy, dental pulp or mesen chimel stem cells guided to form new tissue. I don't think we've talked about mesen thimel stem cells, so we'll have to talk about that. Animal small human trials. Are, so they are doing human trials on this dental pulp, US and China. Okay. They use patients' own cells, personalized. Okay, I kind of like using my own cells rather than the pig cells. I don't know if I want to pick tooth, y'all. Right? Haha! <laughs> pig tooth. Check my pig tooth, guys. Enamel regeneration remains difficult. Okay, so it's still hard with the enamel. Uh, what else we got here? Tissue engineering scaffolds. Um, so we got biodegradable scaffold seeded with cells, dissolves, leaving teeth, tooth structure. It sounds pretty cool. This is okay, that's what a scaffold is. Right. It's not scientifically validated yet. Non-invasive aligns with biofield science. Okay. So we got quantum frequency approaches. Electro I'm more into this kind of stuff, guys. Electromagnetic fields frequency stimulate regenerative potential. Speculative. Limited peer reviewed evidence. Non invasive aligns with biofield science. Oh wait. Okay, I said that in the last one. Sorry, guys. Um, you guys can see it. Not scientific. Not gene delivery safety concerns. Oh, that's gene therapy. All right, let's 
get up here. See here, scaffold. Okay, we know about that, the scaffold, quantum. So we're talking about energy, so low level lasers, even they're talking about lasers. I do have a video about lasers. Okay. Let's finish this up here, guys. So we got the gene therapy. Reactivates developmental genes to restart tooth formation. Preclinical research, early experimental stage, targets root cause via genetics. Oh, I like that. Targets root causes via genetics. Hmm. Gene delivery safety concerns. Okay. And then the last one here, number eight. 3D bioprinting, printing tooth structure with biolink and living cells. Lab stage, preclinical development, customizable tooth structures for the strengths, limitations, complex needs, functional integration. So you guys can see here there's limitations right now to what they're doing, but obviously you can also see they are doing early stage trials and the ones that are pretty much going to be available the quickest is going to be this Japanese drug, which is supposedly, wow, 2020, supposedly only coming up by 2030. Wow, they had this discovery in 2021. So how this one works is the drug inhibits USAG1 and it reactivates natural tooth development pathways, allowing mice and ferrets to grow new teeth. So this USGA1, USAG1, tells our mouth that we're not able to grow a third set. But you take that away, and all of a sudden, your, your genetics believes that you can grow a third set of teeth. Uh, we're gonna go into this later guys but i'm just gonna end off here real quick i don't want to make it too long with the map again to show you guys that they've been doing research all over the world for over 20 years on how to grow new teeth and finally they're starting to do clinical trials so everyone hold strong don't eat candy don't eat sugar eat a balanced diet. I'm gonna be going over diet a lot more. And make sure you're getting all your nutrients. You need vitamin D. So you need at least 15 minutes to an hour a day of sun, depending on your skin tone. If you have a lighter skin tone, you need less sun. If you're a darker skin tone, you need up to an hour a day to be getting enough vitamin D. And I think vitamin D is a huge factor. And then also just space in your mouth, um, if you guys look here, you need your, your jaw to be more of a U-shaped. And what's happening is we're not using the right tongue position up on the roof of our mouth, holding our head up. So our teeth are crowding in. We're supposed to not have a C-shape jawline, we're supposed to have a U-shaped so look into mewing. I got a bunch of videos on mewing to make sure your entire structure of your face uh, needs to be uh, basically held up by your tongue. And then that way you have enough space to regrow a third set of teeth. So not only is there eight scientific ways to grow new teeth, there's even another way, which is what I talk about on my channel so check out my videos i have a bunch of different things to factors to talk about but um diets huge guys and then my be all end all is the coconut oil pulling and you hold a teaspoon of very pure extra virgin coconut oil in your mouth for about 20 minutes it pulls out the bacteria it pulls out all the bad stuff and it even pulls out new teeth and that's how I started growing a new tooth is from the coconut oil. And um, you can just get any coconut oil at your grocery store, about $8. Uh, there's a specific one that did grow my teeth, but it's like $35 online. I don't know, the price went crazy. So hopefully do a collaboration with them or something. 
and I will be uh, posting more videos and I'm working on a book. I'm also going to be working on an official course because no one else is teaching this stuff. So someone's got to do it, guys. Someone's got to do it. And it's me, Roxanne. I love you guys. And thank you for checking out my channel. Hopefully that gives you guys some excitement uh, to see that they have been doing research for a long time about how to grow new teeth. So thanks, y'all. Chat soon. Peace.